the writing on the wall. This is a sickening situation. I'm going to your phone calls now. Uh, I knew it'd be a hit. We came out with our own Hillary Clinton for prison t-shirts, uh, and we've already sold about a third of those. We've got more on order. Uh, but if you do want to support the broadcast and also wake people up, the fact that Hillary Clinton is a criminal, it's a collector's item. We're only going to make these uh, in the last few months of this year. We've got a lot of special edition t-shirts. This is one of them. Hillary for prison. 2016, and on the back it says Infowars.com, legalize freedom. Uh, using a Ron Paul quote. So people can say, what do you mean Hillary for prison? Well, here's the thing she's done, and you know, if, if we punish her, we can start punishing other politicians. We need to bring the fear of God into these people, legally and lawfully. And, and, and well, well, who are you with? What do you stand for? Well, Infowars.com. Well, well, what's it? Well, it wants to legalize freedom. It's a movement of people that are sick of corruption, want common sense, and judge individuals on the character of their deeds, what they stand for, not what color they are, not, not what group they're part of, but what they stand for, what, how they live, what they do. So the Hillary for prison, 2016. Rob Dew had a great idea when he was hosting in the fourth hour yesterday. We brought that hour back, but now kind of a wrap-up roundtable show. Fire at will. We're thinking of the name of it. Should it be... Just the wrap-up show, should it be Overdrive, Fire at Will, or should there be sections in Overdrive, like Fire at Will, where each reporter in here covers 10 stories in, you know, two minutes or something? I don't know, but we're really going to heavily program that fourth hour. By program, you know, actually script it more with clips and uh, guests, and we're formulating it right now, but it's going to be probably one of the hottest hours of the four hours uh, every single day here, and it's up on the satellite for all of our radio affiliates to pick it up. Uh, if they would like to, the fourth hour will now be live every day, except like on holidays. So the Hillary Clinton for prison, Hillary for prison shirt available at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling toll free to secure yours, 888-253-3139. Again, that's 888-253-3139. Uh, and finally... After three months being sold out, Liver Shield is back for the liver cleanse. You do it for six days with the Oxy Powder. We have informational videos, a description of how to do the cleanse at InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com is the master website. It's dramatic. It's amazing. Most people have a huge flush of their gallbladder with the most nauseous stuff you've ever seen in your life. Uh, it really, really works for myself and others. You've, you've seen the rave reviews. Uh, again, a, a 4.8 uh, review, 4.9 review, 4.5 reviews, five-star reviews. The average is, blow that up and I can read it. It's so small, sorry. Um, I believe it has a 4.8. The point is, of all of our products, it's really amazing. It's back. It's very hard to get the herbs and have them purified and organic and concentrated. That's why we just don't always have it on hand, or we would. It's thick, thick, thick stuff. It really works to open up the liver before the cleanse. And it's available at InfoWarsLife.com. And we also have the new Deep Cleanse that was sold out for about a month and a half. It's back in in limited supply. And hopefully we're trying to ramp up production. But these both will undoubtedly probably sell out by next Tuesday or Wednesday. So if you want to take advantage of the overall Deep Cleanse for the body, along with the liver cleanse, both those products are now available. And finally, 10% off for a limited time. It'll end Sunday on Secret 12, uh, the special organic pure formulation uh, of vitamin B12, uh, methylcobalamin, and then I always say the other name wrong, so I won't say it, but adenosylcobalamin. There you go. So no teleprompter, so it's hard to say these words from memory. Infowarslife.com. And your purchases help fund the launch of the TV network, expanding the transmissions, the news websites, the special reports, the reporters on the ground. So thank you all for helping build Infowars in a win-win situation. Okay. Uh, we're going to have open phones right through the next hour and news. I said go to calls early in this hour. That at least means I get to them in this hour. But we will take a lot of calls today, so thank you for holding. Taylor in Michigan, you're on the year. Thanks for calling. Hey, Alex. I've got in my possession a Department of Homeland Security document that's went under the radar. This right here is bombshell information. This is the cherry on top of the pie of the volumes of tyrannical literature that the DHS has put out, labeling every facet of the American people as constituting the number one domestic extremist threat to our national security. 
Okay. It's the U.S. Department of Homeland Security Federal Emergency Management Agency National Exercise Program. And it's entitled, you can type this in, it's entitled National Exercise Program Capstone Exercise 2014 Scenario Ground Truth. And in this exercise, under Section 6.1, under Cyber Operations, the exercise scenario... Sure, sure, sure. just slow down for just a minute. I've seen a lot of documents, and I think I've seen this one before, and some are real, some aren't, and so I'm not saying you're wrong. Give me the title of it right now, and I'll type it in uh, and uh, pull it up for my... I'll type it in and pull it up for myself. I just had my... Okay. I just had my mouse here, but I'll try my best to get it. Um, go ahead and give me the uh, headline so myself and everybody else can can follow along. What, what is the name of the document? Okay, it's National Exercise Program Capstone Exercise go, go slower. 2014. Go slower. Go slower. Go slower. I'm not a typist. Sorry, I was just trying to no, 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 move you, along. You're doing great. I'm going to ask you again. Just, just, I'm slow here, but I'm going to do it myself. Uh, go ahead and give okay. me national level exercise. National exercise program. Okay, go ahead. Capstone exercise 2014. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, thank you. I wasn't trying to be uh, rude. I just wanted to get it. Now, go ahead, sir. It's called Scenario Ground Truth, too. Yeah, so I found it. You can document camera right in here. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, FEMA Capstone 2014 National Exercise Begins. Yes, we covered this at InfoWars.com. Uh, and then they've got the Army training manuals to put us in FEMA camps. No, I know, sir. It's it's, it's all public. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I just wanted to point out, you know, for the people that have any doubt as to what is coming, the military puts a name on the face of the enemy they're going to fight. Under Section 6.1, quote, this is the scenario story setting. The U.S. Northern Command mission of defense support to civil authorities has led to increased activity by some anti-government organizations. Currently, the most vocal organization is Free Americans Against Socialist Tyranny. Using social media, they advertise anti-U.S. rhetoric focusing on the Department of Defense as well as to recruit like-minded individuals to join their cause. And they go on to say that their number one focus is sympathizers within the government and military to the cause of free Americans against socialist tyranny. I mean, this is this is bold right here. Yes, I remember and, whenever this came out, InfoWars wrote a story about it. Homeland Security exercise targets free Americans against socialist tyranny. Paul Joseph Watson wrote about that in March of 2014. Uh, sir, I'm glad you're freaking out about this. I'm glad you're upset. I'm glad you're concerned. Do you understand we have the Emergency Centers Establishment Act? We have the... Um, civilian inmate labor camp program we have the internment resettlement army document uh we have the military telling us they're training for this and so they're gearing up to go after gun owners and veterans and local police officers you name it while funding a race war they're clearly gearing up for something big and i just wonder how do all these crooks in the obama administration and people above them think they're going to get away with this but they've certainly got some plan. And the answer is false flags to be blamed. And that's why they kind of gave like a catch-all fictional name so that Homeland Security people reading that document would try to search that and wouldn't find any real groups bearing that or would then find doppelgangers run by the feds that put out hateful rhetoric. You understand that's not really a real group from my research last year back at the time. It's just a catch-all so the people reading it for themselves can't go out and find out if it's true or not. It's just, a, oh, people against socialists. And yes, they are preparing this, and that's why you add the move with the White House protected groups saying kill police. How are they going to then say kill the police, but then still blame the patriots? Well, how are they going to create al-Qaeda and ISIS, turn them loose all over the Middle East to kill everybody, and then turn around and say, we've got to bomb Assad to stop ISIS when Assad is fighting ISIS. See, that's how crazy this is, is the public is so illiterate when it comes to politics and, and, and terms. That's what George Orwell said. You destroy language. You destroy people's minds. It's like trying to talk to, and I'm not being mean, but it's like trying to explain algebra to somebody that's got Down syndrome. I mean... I, I have trouble doing algebra. I don't have a very mathematical brain. But I, I can figure it out. I can pass the class. I can do some trigonometry. 
but you try to teach it to somebody with a 70 IQ, it ain't happening. Well, they've artificially, with chemicals and TV and the culture, done this to people now where they might say that, you know, groups killing hundreds of cops, even though, it you know, it's, it's Black Lives Matter connected groups, they might come out and say the Patriots did it. I mean, they say, I'm behind the Boston bombing. Uh, they say, I want cops dead with no proof. Uh, I said at the time, they'll end up within a year blaming Assad for Al-Qaeda and ISIS. And they did exactly that. So, so I actually believe once they start a wave of cops being killed, they're going to have some patriot group they run be set up for killing a bunch of cops at some you know police event or something. A bomb, who knows? And then they're going to say, we're done with cops being killed. We're arresting the Patriots. And the average person will just say, okay, do it. Uh, I mean, it's so warped. It's so sick. It's so upside down. It's so illogical. Uh, I don't even know what to say at this point, brother, but uh, it's definitely happening. Anything else? Um, yeah, I would like to add, um, my friend is in the Detroit State Police. I played hockey with him. I can give you his name off air. He specifically, my friends were asking him at the bar, this was in October of 2013, they're asking him, hey, are you still being trained to go after the Libertarians and the Ron Paul supporters? And he jo and he kind, of, he kind of like laughed it off, and then he straight up told us that they're being prepared by the DHS for all-out civil war in 2017. And I just, and I, I mean, I vetted that for quite a while, and now it just, it really seems to be coming to fruition. I just thought that was interesting. I know, and it is coming to fruition. I don't wish any black people harm, any cops harm. I don't wish any Hispanics harm. I don't miss any Asians harm. I just want to have free market and have a country and let us have power plants and let us grow food and let us eat good food that isn't GMO and don't shoot kids up with deadly vaccines and let us be healthy and not have us surveilled all the time and, you know, just have a basic, decent, prosperous country. But that isn't what the globalists want. They want to capture and break the back of this country. And this is modern globalist warfare right now. And I really appreciate you, Taylor, for calling in. You know, short of breath, oh, oh, FEMA document says it wants to go after the Patriots and round us up with the military. And it's at, it's at FEMA.gov, and I, I can't believe you're not. Uh, we did talk about it, but I should be talking about this more. But I, that's my problem is I've been so close to this so long that maybe I should just drink fluoride and take all the vaccines and just get cancer and die and just worship the government and worship, you know, I have a sex change and uh, and just die of cancer and worship tyranny and worship Satan and just worship all the babies, you know, worship the government killing the babies and selling their body parts and be glad the little kids are dying everywhere of bone cancer from fluoride in the water and just be glad everybody's becoming mentally brain damaged and just, 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 you know, find a trash dump somewhere and just roll around in piles of garbage. But I'm not going to do that. I mean, I'm a sick freak. I, I just like good, clean, healthy, happy things. I like justice. I like freedom. And I'm a bad person because I'm not like the world, I guess. And I guess you're bad, too, out there, listeners. Neil in Arizona, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, Alex. Um, I'm an author of a book called Global Economic Collapse, The New Dark Ages. And um, I it's actually good title. wanted to talk about what? It's a good title. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's going to happen. I was on your show and talked to Lyndon LaRouche before, and he introduced me to the Glass-Steagall Act. Um, I wanted to talk about the borders, though, being down here in Tucson and it becoming a sanctuary city because we have a liberal mayor and a liberal sheriff. And out here, you have to basically own a gun to protect yourself in the rural areas. And uh, I, I'm going through a situation where I've been targeted by corrupt uh, police. I'm kind of a whistleblower, and I've complained about police corruption and them ignoring our complaints. And there's even an article about it. If I can listen, uh, if I could say the title of the article, is that yeah. okay? Yeah, my man, I don't, I don't screen your calls on air, bro. I don't do it. <laughs> I don't do it. Whoa. Whoa, man. What do you mean if you can say the title of an article? Well, I didn't know if there's copyright restrictions or anything. Um, Sir, there's no uh, copyright on your speech to say the name of articles? You never know nowadays. It's everything. 
Okay, the, the uh, please go, uh, Google the Saga of Three Points, and it's about the uh, uh, 